How did the Hells Angels save my boutique? Do you want to hear? It's a pretty good story. Hi you guys, I'm Emily Benson. I am the Forbes and InStyle featured founder of Stylish and Successful and The Fashion Truck. And I'm the host of the Booster Boutique podcast. I'm so excited to be with you and my new ring light has arrived. So I'm pretty psyched because now I have like up to my video game. Uh, up to my video game. <laughs> yeah. So if you're here and you're joining me or if you're watching the replay, I'd love for you to say hi. Tell me where you're checking in from and also tell me a little bit about your boutique or your direct selling company or just tell me what you're doing. <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Um, I'm going to very quickly before I get into this awesome freaking story, I'm going to share this into my Facebook group, which is called the Fashion Truck Tribe. It's an amazing group of women who I have challenged to up-level the conversation around. Um, having a boutique, starting a boutique, growing a boutique, guys, like, we need to, like, up the level of conversation, like, in general about what's going on with boutiques. And so I love being able to have that conversation over in my group. So if you need help looking for that group, you can find it on Facebook just by searching the search bar for Fashion Truck tribe. You'll need to get approval to come in, but once you're in, we like you in there. So, um, okay. So I'm going to write this really quick. Hi guys. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Sunday. I'm already running out of battery. Um, hi, Ashley. Thank you so much. It's my new, it's my new ring light. You guys, if you don't have a ring light for your business, you absolutely need one, especially if you're photographing clothes. Um, this one is amazing. It actually has a dimmer. So like, ah, and you can go low, but I think there, there feels good. Okay, so do you see how I like hit all my stuff in the back? Join us. And if you don't know how to share your Facebook page to a group, you just go on your iPad and you hit share on the actual post and you say, oh, I just shared it to this page. Sorry. Let me share it to my group. You change it to your group, Fashion Truck Fat Tribe, join us. You have to do it on a different device and then you share it. It's a great way if you're looking to grow your page from your group. Great way to grow it. Hi, thanks for all the hearts, guys. Hey, Ashley, Minnesota. Yes, dot, dot, smile, love it. Hey, Tammy from Coral Springs. The House of Gentry, online only. Romantic boho. I like it. All right. Hey, Tara. Hi, Julie. Hi, Robin. Thanks, guys. Hi, Kaylee. Um, I'm obsessed with this. I just got it today and immediately put it together. I literally was like running down to the UPS guy when I saw him come in. I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Hey, Kaylee from Oklahoma, Country Lace. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I love the ring light. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a series of videos over the next two weeks entitled, well, I'm calling it Startup Stories, but it started as Stories from When I Started. Because so many of you have found me many years after I started my boutique. And I feel like I kind of want to tell you that some of the stuff you're going through when you start your boutique is totally normal. And maybe actually some stranger things have happened to me. <laughs> so to make you like feel a little bit better. So my first story is probably one of my most outrageous, although I'm looking at my wall where I have them all written and I think I picked my most outrageous stories. Um, hey Nicole, hi Lakarsha, awesome obsession online only. Hey, Nicole. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Danielle. Okay, so, um, all right, let's get into it. So, all of these stories are going to be about when I started and how I started, and I'm not going to get into the technical stuff, um, but I want to tell you that, like, so much of what you're going through is completely normal. I am launching the B Boutique Basics Bootcamp in about two and a half days, three days here on Thursday, um, and part of that bootcamp, you know, to help talk more about that bootcamp and why like you should trust me to guide you through that so you can be the hero of your own boutique journey. It's important for you to understand that like I've been through a lot of this stuff and I've kind of like made all the mistakes that <laughs> maybe we can help you not make, right? So the Hells Angels, how did they save my business? Okay. So I started my boutique as the fashion truck and I started that in, um, let's see, I got laid off from my job in January 2011. I moved back to Massachusetts in March of 2011. I bought a truck in April. I bought my inventory in May and renovated the truck in 
uh, May and I launched it in June. So I drove out of the driveway. We had like done this whole marathon of getting it ready. My parents were helping, my friends, like neighbors were over here. It was incredible. And my first event, I was so like, you know, I think you guys can probably relate. Like when you start a business, especially a boutique business, you put so much money into it, right? And I was like freaking out about money. This was like before my, I knew anything about mindset, anything about money mindset. And so I was freaking out about all this money that I was putting into it. And I was like, we just, I just, I have to get to an event. I have to start selling, right? Because that was the only way like I knew how to sell at that point. So I knew that there was this event called Laconia Bike Week in New Hampshire. And I knew like a ton of people went to it. And I was just like, okay, a ton of people are there. I'll be there. Like I'm doing it, you know? And this is me not have, I had never lived in Boston, like the Boston area as an adult. I had always lived in New York. I lived in Ohio. So like I had no idea what was going on. I was like 28 and like, I don't know. I guess I just like didn't do good research. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to this bike week. So literally drove out of the driveway and this bike week was like six days. Like it was a commitment. We paid for a spot, um, rented a house, like again, cha-ching, cha-ching, like spending so much money. And we rent this house, we bring the truck. And like, I remember the first day just being like, all right, like setup's going well. We had like these barbecue guys across the way from us. We had the Hells Angels on the other side across from us. Um, I don't think there was anyone like next to us, but that it was like set up like a carnival. So there was like a midway and then there were vendors on each side. And then to the right of us was this kind of like interesting woman who would do massages for the biker guys. Little weird, little uncomfortable. Um, she literally just had like a 10 and like a massage chair. And I was like, we, I was literally like, okay. So the first day, like, it rained really hard. It wasn't very busy, but we were just like, whatever. Like, we're going to stay. It's going to be fine. So <laughs> second day, I was like, I don't know how this is going. Third day, I was like, it was just getting worse and worse, you guys. So, like, what we realized there was that we made friends with all the vendors. Like, we were, like, talking to people. People were like, what is this? You know, we're getting, like, lots of people coming to like see what we were because we were new like no one had seen this kind of mobile boutique before and of course they were like why is this like prissy jewelry truck like clothing truck at this place where literally they had like the biggest tent of leather stuff <laughs> like all the women's clothes were like leather and boots and like stirrups and leather vests and I was like I've never even like seen that stuff right here I am trying to sell like my cute jewelry and my like trendy clothes and it was so not working, okay? So after about the third day, I was like, you know what? We're not gonna stay. We're not, we're not staying. So we talked to the manager of the property and we're like, we can't stay, like this isn't working for us. And they were like, you can't leave. Like you're here and you've signed up for this and you have to stay. And I was like, no, like we're, I'm not staying. Like there's no way I'm staying. So, we went to dinner, closed up the truck, closed up the truck, went to dinner, came back. The owners of the property had had their son, who was in high school, park his car like this to our truck, like to the back, like literally almost touching the back bumper. Okay. It's like nighttime. It just like now just not feel safe, right? Now I'm just like, we, like our safety has been tested at this point. So like, we're, we're blocked in. There's no way we can get out. In front of us is woods. Like, no way. We're, like, so freaking out, okay? Like, freaking out. These owners have acted insane of the property who's, like, managing all this stuff. We're, like, just freaking let us go. So we end up driving to the police station. I don't know why we thought it was, like, smart. Like, why didn't we just call? You know? Like, that was weird. I think we just need to, like, get out of the space because it was honestly, like, terrifying at that point. It's dark. Like, we're like, we're blocked in, like, this car, like, are you kidding? Like, you're just so upset. Like, I just remember being, like, so deeply upset because I was like, I'm screwing everything up. Like, I'm, comp I'm like, I've now completely screwed my business up. Like, we're stuck here. Like, there's a car. Like, people don't like us. Like, oh, my God, right? But like I said, we had been making friends with all the other vendors, and they, like, thought we were cool and chill and whatever. But, like, I couldn't get it out of my head. Like, I'm already failing, like, this is my first event and I'm already failing. 
and like this feeling sucks like, like I didn't know what to do so ended up getting the police involved this bike this guy who is a cop on a bike like love police officers okay love them when they're on bikes especially he's like these people we have so many problems with these people the people that own this property are like a loco so end up the police we're sitting there literally the police is having to deal with these owners the police is like this is threatening like you are threatening them like this is not okay not appropriate behavior and they're like we're gonna sue them they can't leave they said we signed like a shitty contract like we went and pulled it up it was like a half a page so FYI if you run events get your get your contract straight okay because we could easily get out of it also I think we paid like a thousand dollars for the event like it wasn't even that much you know in hindsight at the point I was like we just <laughs> just like blew everything like I've screwed this whole thing up right <sighs> and so we end up dealing with the kid the poor high school kid too these parents put him in such a bad situation and parking his car there right it's like little Volvo and so the cop's like, listen, you've got to move the car. You can deal with them in civil court. Like, if you want to sue them for leaving, it's go for it. You know what I mean? Like, that's, but that's not, you can't keep them here. Like, this is illegal. Like, I, I can't allow this to happen. So I'm still, like, shaking, you guys. Like, FYI, I was so not cool as a cucumber. I was literally just like, you know when you're just, like, you feel like, oh, my God. Like, everything's going wrong. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Like, it's dark at night. I'm somewhere I've never been. Like, I have this new business. Like, literally I thought I had just ruined my life okay so so they move the car they're like yelling and threatening us and I go to get in the front seat of the driver's seat because I'm the driver I completely freeze I'm like I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here it's super dark like I'm gonna hit every tent like the barbecue tent is going down when I back out of here because of course we had to open our back doors for the fashion truck out to the lane right so I have to back out into this midway that's like one car wide maybe like a little bit more than one car I'm freaking out I'm freaking out up on my driver's side door I see this guy knocking and he goes get out okay He's got the Hells Angels biker jacket on. And he's like, get out, honey. I'm going to get you out of here. And I was like, thank you. Like, thank you so much, whoever is watching over me. The Hells Angels, who, like, don't have the best reputation, because we had made friends with them, because we were not, like, you know, we were just, like, new on the block. And these guys wanted to, like, chat about leather. Like, one guy was, like, talking about leather production and, like, all this crazy stuff. He had sent, so the guy we made friends with had been there and he basically tapped his buddy and he goes, dude, go get them out. So because we had made friends, this guy comes and he's like, I've driven, I have a CDL license for like 50 years. Like, I'll get you out of here. I was like, oh my God thank you. It's all working out. Like, I'm going to be okay. I'm not going to hit the barbecue stand. I'm not going to like take out this whole place like accidentally. So in literally one swoop, he's like, burr, burr, burr. like no joke. He's in the midway. He drives me out to the end. Like I'm in the passenger seat. He drives me out. He like, he's like, get in here, take a left. Like you can do it. The cops like directing us like out into the, and it's like crowded. You guys, it's like, it's like the middle of a carnival night. Right? Like imagine that. And I was like, I just drove. Like I did not stop driving all night. Like we, I, we drove back to my parents' house like two hours away. I'm like so shaken. I'm so just like, Oh my God, what happened? But honestly, what did I do? Right. Number one, made friends with everyone. <laughs> Make friends with everyone no matter what you do. You never know who's going to be there to help you. You never know who's going to save you in that nick of time. And like that has been my motto since day one is like no one is my enemy. No one is my competition. I am scared of no one. I'm going to make you my friend. Okay. So like if you're just starting out or you're in this business and you're feeling like really overwhelmed, make friends with everyone. That's why it's part of my motto. Okay. And number two, you guys are going to make mistakes. We all are. We're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to screw things up sometimes. I thought I had like monumentally screwed. Can you imagine me sitting there like looking at this car 
blocking my chalk. Like I was like, my life is over. Like, how did my life get to this? Like, I was so excited. Like I started this cool thing and I'm so cool. And like, here I am having to call the police, having to like deal with this crazy lunatic situation. So you're going to make mistakes. You're going to screw things up just like I have so many times. But at the bottom of all of that is knowing that you're going to probably be okay. You might need to get help, right? Like call the police, call someone to help you. But know that when you start, you're going to make mistakes. You might get your ideal client wrong. You might go to the wrong location. You might open your store in the wrong spot. You might buy the wrong inventory. You might hire the wrong employees. Like you might have so many things going wrong. But I will tell you, if you can keep your mindset in the game and you can stay on top of like knowing that what you're doing is like, it really is awesome and not get yourself down and not bring your energy down to this place where like you crush your own self. Like I've seen so many business owners just literally crush themselves because they get so wrapped up in their head. And that's one thing, like I was born an, an eternal optimist. Like that's, my mom has confirmed it officially this week, guys. I was officially came out of the womb bubbly and happy. Okay. And so like, luckily I have that on my side. If you don't like get in the mindset game, get yourself to a place where you know deep in your heart that like you are gonna be okay when, even if you make a mistake, even if you screw up, even if it feels like, oh my God, this is the end of the world, it's probably not, right? Like as long as you're safe, as long as your family's safe, like it's all gonna be okay, you know? It's just like, you've gotta take the deep breaths, you've gotta regroup, you've gotta have a strategy, and you've gotta come back fighting the next day, you know? Like Rocky's a great movie to watch for that. Um, so that's how the Hell's Angels saved my business. They saved my boutique from having to stay at this crappy event. And literally, as I was driving back, I got an email and I had been accepted into this massive market in Boston for that Sunday. And so the whole rest of the week was about prepping for that market. And that market also changed my business. And I'm going to talk about that on another live stream. Um, but I will tell you, like when things aren't feeling aligned and they're not feeling good for you and your business, get out of them and don't feel bad about it. Okay. That's like, I guess that's like another side note is like that event did not feel aligned. It did not feel right. It was not my ideal client. And I knew I had to get out of it. Like I was not going to sit there and like stick it out. You know, I just knew. So if you're in a situation where you just know something's not working, get out of it. Okay. Let me read some of these comments. I wanted to just get through the story. Thank you guys so much for the, the hearts and the notes and the comments. You guys are so freaking awesome. And I love sharing these stories. Like I said, over the next, um, over the next two weeks, I'm going to be sharing a whole bunch of stories on Facebook Live called um, Startup Stories about how I started the fashion truck, my mobile boutique, and my brick and mortar store, uh, and some of the good and bad and who knows of <laughs> what I had to deal with um, doing that. So let me just look here. Um, hi, Amy. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Tammy. Um, hey, Vanessa. Oh, thank you so much. I do kind of know my shit. And if I don't, I'll tell you, right? Uh, okay. Ashley, listen to every word that comes out of Emily's mouth. She's brilliant and will be an absolute game changer for your business. She's the best of the best. Thank you. You're so sweet. April, I was so upset. <laughs> Rachel, yes, yes, yes. Andrea, so true. Everyone at events is so friendly and helpful. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing is I think so many, especially if you're in um, like I see this a lot in direct selling businesses. They'll be like, oh, I'm at an event and there's like three other people here that sell similar stuff. Like, you know what? It's a person to person economy, you guys. That's what we're moving towards. And because it's person to person, like if you are a great person, people are going to buy from you. Right. And so just know that in your heart, like know that if you are great, then like you'll be okay. You know, um, Nicole has so many stories like mine. Oh my God. Friends are the best. Cat. Just jumped on. Girl, you look fab. Thank you. Need a tear. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. April, you're going to hear it all. Hey, Karen. Yeah, so you guys, um, so that's how the Hell's Angels saved my business. If you're just joining now, I'm going to post the replay. I'll come back to it. Um, 
but you know we're gonna be launching I'm gonna be opening the doors to the boutique basics boot camp it's really for anyone who's just starting out like maybe you're switching from direct sales to starting your own boutique maybe you're in a situation where um, you have started but you're not feeling like you can get the momentum that you want um, this is really basic stuff okay so if you read my book it's gonna be somewhat along the lines of my book but we're gonna like I'm gonna coach you through it we're gonna go a little bit deeper on some of the topics and I'll be able to address some of your specific needs so to get feedback so I'm really excited about this program when you sign up you're gonna get um, a weekly workbook that's going to be like so good, really great questions. People love my workbook. So you'll get a workbook every week on our weekly topic. We're going to do Facebook live training similar to this, but they're going to be trainings on the topic. You'll get to ask me questions. We'll be able to interact through Facebook live. That'll be in our private Facebook group, which is so great because you're going to meet so many other women starting up and that's going to be another area for you to connect with other new business owners. Also, we're going to have weekly office hours on Thursday. So if you have questions for me, that's the time to ask them. Um, it's a thread inside the Facebook group and it's a hit. Every course that I do it in, they love it. So we're going to bring it into this course as well. So excited about that. Um, and yeah, you're going to get my support for six whole weeks. So we're going to get you right into right before Christmas and um, you're going to start 2018 with a plan. You're going to feel really good about your business going into 2018. And that's what I want for you. I want to guide you through the process of coming from not knowing really what's going on in your business and feeling like maybe something's off or maybe something's missing. And I'm going to guide you through all the bits and pieces and parts of what it really takes to start a boutique business um, so that you really feel like you have a plan, you feel confident, you feel good about what's going on. So doors for that open on, um, so it's a mini six-figure blueprint. Not really. So six for your blueprint, we go way deeper. This is going to be, um, this is a different level of training. So six for your blueprint, we have group coaching calls. I can address you very individually. It's, it's, I want to say it's a pre six figure blueprint. That's what I'm kind of calling it. I'm calling it like a level one and six figure blueprints kind of like a level two. So this is for people who are like, not really knowing what's going on. They really need just something to help. Um, oh, da, da. So like there's things that are only in six figure blueprint that like will never be outside of six figure blueprint, honestly. So hey Gladys, thank you. Is there any way I can PM you? I have a few minor questions. Um, no, I do not accept PMs. I'm sorry. Um, if you have questions or you need help with something, you can email me and my team at hello at stylishandsuccessful.com. I do not respond to PMs. Um, so I'm sorry. There's way too many people to keep up with that. Um, so, Tammy, I'm most interested in social media marketing trainer training. Would what would be best? Six figure blueprint. Um, if you already have a boutique up and running, um, I would say yeah, six figure blueprint goes deeper into to. So let me talk about this. In Boutique Basics, these are the topics we're going to cover. So if you want to follow along, um, so you can go to www.boutiquebasicsbootcamp.com and you'll be able to see all the topics we cover. Um, and like I said, the workbooks are shorter. This is a much lower price program than Six Figure Blueprint. Um, so... Boutique Basics Bootcamp. This is a much lower price program. So the workbooks are shorter. There's no video trainings. Um, it's just really different. Yeah, if you're a year in, Tammy, you should do uh, Six Figure Blueprint. Six Figure Blueprint will open again at the end of December. And it will run from January. Boutique Basics Bootcamp. I'm sorry. Um, it will run from January to March. It's a 90-day program. This is a six-week program. Okay. Okay. Um, where am I right now? I'm actually at my parents' house. I'm in my childhood bedroom. And if you look right there, there is a painting of my brick-and-mortar store on the wall. It's a beautiful painting. Um, I'm about to travel out to New York tomorrow to upstate New York. Um, so yeah, I travel everywhere, but 
I've been trying to stay places longer. So Boutique Basics Bootcamp, really quick, guys, you can go to just Boutique Basics Bootcamp and you'll see the whole page here. So we're going to cover in the six weeks, each week is a topic. So the first week is your motivation and your mindset. That's really like getting your head screwed on straight because like... I know so many of us, like I'm still working on money mindset. I'm still working on how big can I go? You know, we all need that all the time. Don't ever think your mindset is fixed. It's not. Um, next, we're going to go into your ideal customer. This is like when you guys ask me in, um, in the fashion show tribe, what vendor should I use? I don't know. Who's your ideal client? <laughs> and also, even if I tell you the vendor, you still gotta dig through a bunch of SKUs, right? Week three is all about your product assortment. So we're gonna talk about what specifically you need in your product assortment to be successful, right? This is where I'm gonna tell you, don't sell handbags, probably don't sell shoes, don't sell jeans, right? And we're gonna get really in depth on like who your ideal client is and then what you're gonna sell to them. Then we're gonna talk about your operations plan. How are you operating? How are you setting yourself up to grow, right? Like when are you gonna need an assistant? When are you gonna need staff? When are you gonna need all that stuff? Um, we're gonna talk about taxes, accounting, insurance, all that deep stuff. We'll probably go through startup financials, things like that. Um, I know that's like a big area that people need help with. Then week five is your marketing plan. Um, <laughs> I was like, what did I wrote? I, I wrote, why doing every social media is killing your sales. So in that, we're going to talk through um, how to keep customers coming and how to keep them buying. Okay, that's so important. And then I'm going to go through how to get comfortable on video. And I'll probably challenge some of you to get on video in the group and pretend you're doing Facebook Live sales because I will tell you, the future of fashion is person to person. Okay, if you can't get good on video, you're going to be dead in the water sorry and we're gonna see that we're gonna see that the big boutiques are gonna have to start doing it too the ones that have been making a bunch of money they're gonna have to get on Facebook live at some point because people want to see faces it's just that's the way the industry is moving um, and then week six is really your launch plan um, the other piece of that is if you have already launched a big chunk of that will also be about uh, a visioning for your business. What's your long-term vision? How do you hold the vision? How do you stay on top of it? Things like that. So again, it's six weeks. We open the doors two days, two hours, 53 minutes. <laughs> the countdown timer on there. Um, and like I said, six weeks of support from moi. Um, six Facebook live trainings inside our private Facebook group. Six really wonderful workbooks. Um, and then weekly office hours where you can check in with me for extra questions and coaching. Um, I can't wait till you guys see the price on this. It's insanity. So low. Um, so get excited. And like I said, we end before Christmas and you're ready for New Year's. So it's going to be great. All right. So P to P. Yeah, totally Lynette. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go hang out with my mom and dad for a little bit and the dog who I was going to try to bring on Facebook live, but he's being kind of not fun right now, even though we're best friends. Um, hey, gay, I'm going to jump off. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me. You'll see me here over the next two weeks. I'm going to be telling startup stories about when I started my boutique. Um, so I'm glad you're listening to the podcast. Awesome. Um, yeah, I have 26 delicious episodes of that podcast. So if you're missing me or you need help, go over there. Uh, so um, yeah, so I'm really excited to tell you some other crazy stories that have happened to me hopefully help you in your business help you feel better like hey someone else has been through this and it might actually be crazy er than you <laughs> um so thank you so much for joining me uh here's to making lots of friends and making lots of money bye